What's for drinking today? Is the first question that comes to most young people when they start their daily work. Coffee or tea? Coffee or something more. And today we're gonna find out what do young people have in their cups after this one. For Judy Wu, a coffee lover who works in a company in Beijing's central business district, coffee is more than a drink. Coffee is a daily need for me and a social currency for interaction with my co-workers. When it comes to coffee, I have my own preferences on origin and roasting of coffee beans. When I'm off work, I like to make my own coffee at home. But the sad thing is that it's a bit hard for people like Judy in the CBD to choose an ideal cafe from the more than 700 coffee shops in the region. The CBD accounts for a third of all the coffee shops in Beijing, but we still have a guide for them. If you open a coffee map of Beijing on your phone, there are hundreds of options, each with its unique vibe, for you to pick up one cup. And I decide to go to a cafe which has a high ranking on the map, named Fu San Coffee. Zhang Xuan set up Fusan Coffee Shop along with his two partners in 2017. He says that there has been a sea change in coffee consumption patterns, with young consumers becoming increasingly choosy about their choice of beverage. Besides having specific requirements on the type of coffee beans and roasting techniques, young consumers are looking for more inclusive consumption. For this, we have tied up with nearby bookstores and art galleries to create a leisure reading space for people with coffee as the medium. Besides coffee, new Chinese-style tea drinks are also becoming popular with young consumers. This has prompted several entrepreneurs to create culture-themed tea brands, such as Tea Shore, a chain brand in Beijing. With around 100 square meters for each branch, consumers can experience more than a cup of tea. Generation Z consumers prefer healthy and low sugar drinks. They love our new Chinese tea beverage. Our consumption space is also very diversified. We open a window with each cup of tea, so that consumers can get a taste of traditional Chinese culture. The design concept of our entrance is derived from the classical structure of the Song Dynasty architecture. Our green plum osmanthus tea, blended with the charm of ancient poems, is a best-selling drink among young consumers. And tea culture inheritors like Helen Liu are giving a boost to tea consumption. Data from iMedia shows that the market size of new tea drinks in China will reach over 46 billion U.S. dollars in 2023. A little cup has already become a big thing. Happiness, comfort, culture, and good money. What's inside of young people's cups in every single day? It's just bitter and sweet, just like a taste of life. Xu Yi, CGTN, Beijing.